Hey everyone, this is Paul from Intro to DJing, and what I want to do today is talk about multi-tags. Now, what are multi-tags and why are they helpful? Well, sometimes you want to categorize a track by more than one genre. So suppose I have a song and I want it to be tagged as a 70s track. So when I look for 70s music, it shows up, but it also shows up when I look for disco tracks. And in most DJ applications, you can only choose one genre. Now, Serato does let you choose multiple, but I still find it more helpful to use multi-tags when tagging your music with different attributes that are helpful for you as a DJ to know when you're playing songs. So maybe you want to find a sing-along song. Maybe you want to use eras or energies or types of mixing. These are all things you can do with multi-tags. So to get started, what I'm going to do is right-click here on the header in the browser and open up the grouping tab. And this is what I use for basically tagging my tracks with the multi-tags that I use. And I got this idea originally from some articles from Digital DJ Tips, but I've tweaked this system to my own and, and I would recommend, well, you can find a system that works right for you, but I'll tell you how I tend to do it. So if I'm looking at this particular track, as I import a track, I need to set the tags. This is a track, well, I did the mixing on this, so it's a track that came out in the 20s. It's kind of an R&B track and it's kind of laid back. So I could kind of think maybe it's like a starting track, something early in the night. These are all keys that I've sort of come up with over time. So what I'm trying to do is tag the era because I often get asked to do, oh, can we do a 2000s party or a 2010s or an 80s party? So it's important for me to be able to sort by sort of the decade. Then what I'm going to do is tag something like the genre or just some other sort of thing that's helpful, and then maybe the time of the night or the energy that I would playing, play it. So this is more of a starting track. I could also say, hey, this is a late night type of track, L-A-T, something like this. Actually, L-A-T is for Latin music, so maybe I would do L-T-E, something like this. And now when I can search, I can actually search by these tags as long as I'm using the separator. So I'm using the square brackets here to separate these tags. I find that system works really well, and all of my tags are just three characters. So going back to the example that we started out with, if I want to find all of my 70s tracks, I can just simply type in 70s and I will see all the tracks that I have that are 70s. This is just a cut down version of my library for this video. I have a lot more music than that. Or if I want to find disco tracks, I can go DCO and sure enough, this will come up as well. But suppose I want to find tracks that are a combination of genres such as early 2000s hip hop and the order actually here doesn't actually matter. I could do hip hop first and then the early 2000s track. So hip hop and then 2000s. And sure enough, what I'm seeing are tracks that are matching both tags. So this is actually what happens here is it's doing a database join or an and operation between these two tags. And it makes sure that it sees both of them. Um, alternatively, I may want to find Dirty South tracks that are in the hip hop genre, so I can do this. And remember here in Serato, just Command F will immediately search your entire library for these. So this is really helpful for saying, oh my gosh, I really wanna switch genres really quickly. I wanna find slam edits and I have it sorted by BPM. If I do it like this and I can just say, okay, now I wanna start playing music at 148 beats per minute. Let me find this, the songs that I've tagged this way. So really the advice that I have to you is find a tagging system that works for you and then use it and be sure to tag all your music. Now it took me a lot of time to tag all of my songs, including all of my older songs like this, but it was really worth it because now I'm confident if I wanna go through all my songs and go by a certain genre or decade, I can do this without needing to stress about picking one genre or another. You can kind of have all the ones that you want. So once again, find a tag system that works well for you, depending on the genres and type of DJ you are, you may find genre is more important. You may find energy more important. This depends if you're, you know, a one genre DJ or an open format DJ, but find the system that works best for you. And don't be afraid to, you know, edit these tags and make it your own. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.